Hello and welcome back to Women's Football Talk, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. And welcome to our WSL preview of each team. Today we are looking at Liverpool. So Matt Beardside are playing in their second season in the WSL, obviously after uh, surviving last season after a bit of a tricky start where it seemed to be a while for them to get some victories but they managed to turn things around and ended up playing some nice football and staying up in the end and getting some good results along the way. However looking into this season obviously some changes um, made by Matt Beard, some good signings, uh, you like look at the likes of Grace Fisk joining uh, in the defence. Uh, and then you've got Marie Hobbinger coming in in midfield, and then uh, two signings or a couple of signings up front. You've got Sophie Roman Hag, Mia Enderby, and Natasha Flint. So, some very solid signings for Liverpool to help them progress in the WSL and help maintain their WSL status as they in, enter their second season. So, players I'm really excited to see definitely Sophie Roman Hag. We saw some of her exploits at the World Cup in the one game where she managed to bag herself a hat trick. Uh, and she's a very exciting uh, forward and I think one that can definitely help uh, Liverpool out massively uh, this season. A 24 year old uh, did alright in her year or so at Roma uh, where she managed to get 12 goals in 39 games and then previously at Lillestrom uh, 50 goals in 123 games so uh, definitely one that will come into her own and like I say, and I'll continue like to say, because it will take time for these new signings to settle in and embed throughout the season. Uh, don't expect her to be back in the goal straight away. Obviously, for Liverpool's sake, that would be fantastic if she is amongst the goal straight away. But I think time will definitely help her on that uh, occasion. And again, Natasha Flint, another forward line uh, for them. Uh, just spent the one year up in Scotland at Celtic where she managed to get nine goals in 15 games but before that spent three years at Leicester City getting 24 goals in 60 games and I think that is such a really smart signing for Liverpool because the, the one thing that they did seem to lack last season was their goals uh, and I do think the signings of Natasha Flint and Sophie Roman Hug can help that out massively. Um, Grace Fisk at the back, I think that's such an excellent signing Managing to get her on a free agent after her contract at West Ham United expired. Um, up and coming English centre half, I think will be absolutely uh, fantastic for them. 25 years old, coming into what many presume to be the prime of their careers, uh, but she will be absolutely key and crucial. And I think she can have a really good season. Maybe Serena Veeam and may have her knocking on the doors uh, and potentially getting in and amongst the uh, England squad because she's such a talented player. Um, I think with one position maybe that they could be looking at midfield, obviously Fuka Nagano when she came in was absolutely fantastic. Uh, but how will the rest of the players do? Uh, obviously Kerry Holland towards the back end of the season seemed to carry them a lot. Uh, in that midfield position, how will Marie Hobbinger settle in? Uh, they are the questions that will obviously have to be asked uh, by Matt Beard's side. A look into their opening fixtures this season. They open up uh, with an away trip to Arsenal before playing two games at home consecutively against Aston Villa and then it's the Merseyside derby against Everton and then they finish October with an away trip to West Ham United. So. Not too bad of a start, obviously that opening game of the season you probably expect them to lose because of how strong Arsenal are on paper compared to Liverpool, but uh, I mean if we flip back to last season, Aston Villa beating Manchester City on the opening day, no one would have expected that so don't fully write Liverpool off there. And then uh, the rest of the games, all winnable games for them, uh, but they would definitely try and win the latter two games of uh, October beating uh, obviously their Merseyside rivals Everton and then West Ham United as well which will see obviously Grace Fisk return to her former club so yeah uh, promising things for Liverpool I do think again somewhere between 8th and uh, 12th place would be uh, what I expect from them this season it wouldn't be too surprising uh, to see them in and around their spots but I do think the second season in the WSL and if uh, Natasha Flint and Sophie Ram and Hyde can get off to a really good start then we won't see them struggle as much as we did at times last season so that is our Liverpool preview done make sure you are subscribed to this channel with the post notification bell so you never miss out on our uploads of every other team's preview and if you've missed any before make sure you go back and check them out Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Instagram for all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. 
and make sure you check out our podcast women's football talk for all the latest podcast talk uh, we will have a full wsl preview out on there but in the meantime we'll see you soon